The goal in this topic is not to find the exact answers to these quadratic equations. The goal is to say how many answers does it have. Now, anytime an equation has an x to the second power, there can be at most two answers, but it might only have one answer or there may be no solution. So we can quickly determine how many answers this equation has without using the entire quadratic formula. And what you do to figure that out is to find the answer to only the discriminant. The discriminant is the vocabulary word that is describing what's underneath the square root. Okay, so I'm going to, you, you wanna copy down into your notes these three situations, but then you wanna watch to understand why it is so that you can put this in your long-term memory. Because when you understand it, um, it's, it's really not much to memorize. But if you find the answer to b squared minus 4ac, and the answer you get is a positive number, no matter what that number is, if what's the answer to b squared minus 4ac is a positive number, then your equation has two answers. If the answer to b squared minus 4ac equals a negative number, then you have no answers. There's no x that makes it true. And if the answer to b squared minus 4ac equals zero, then this equation would have one answer. So ultimately you're going to find just the answer to b squared minus 4ac. I'm gonna show a little bit more work than that to help you understand why this is true. So if I let a equal one, b equals six, and nine equals c, and I pop those numbers into my formula, and I simplify, skipping a lot of steps here, I end up with negative six plus or minus the square root of zero over two, which creates two separate problems, negative six plus the square root of zero over two and negative six minus the square root of zero over two. Well, since the discriminant is zero, if you add the square root of zero or you subtract the square root of zero, you get the exact same answer. Both of these end up equaling negative three. We end up with one solution. Our shortcut though was the answer to b squared minus four ac was zero. And when the discriminant equals zero, there is one solution. Graphically, what that looks like is the parabola is, has its vertex on the x-axis. Okay, so then let's take a look at the next one. If I were to use the entire quadratic formula, it would look like this, but ultimately I only care about what's underneath the root. So if I simplify here, negative three squared minus four AC is 49. And since that is a positive answer, 49 is a positive number, I know that it has two solutions. And just to demonstrate that, if I'm adding and subtracting the square root of 49, well, three plus root 49 divided by two is a different answer than three minus the square root of 49 over two. They happen to be five and negative two, but all I really care about is that there are two solutions. Parabolas with two solutions, they slice through the x-axis in two spots. Now, the last situation is where the parabola is above the x-axis or below the x-axis and never goes through the x-axis, no x-intercepts. So if I were to use my quadratic formula on this one and I focus just on what is the answer to the discriminant, three squared minus four times one times four is negative seven. And if the answer to my discriminant is negative, then there are no solutions. And we are talking about real solutions, not complex numbers. 
So I have no real solutions. One more time, the reason that is, see how this parabola never crosses the x-axis. So what you wanna do for this one, you don't need to use the entire quadratic formula. You're only going to find the answer to b squared minus 4ac. So in this one, six squared minus four times one times nine equals zero. In this one, negative three squared minus four times one times negative 10 was 49. And in this one, three squared minus four times one times four was negative seven. And if the number you get is positive, in this case, you're gonna say there are two solutions. If the answer to the discriminant is negative, which is what happened in this one, we're gonna say no solution. And if the answer to the discriminant equals zero, which is what happened here, you're gonna say there's one solution.